Our swimmer should now have developed a good butterfly leg kick with power generating from the hips. Following, we show a basic progression which would be appropriate for younger swimmers. Like this. Yeah? And what you're going to do is you take your hands out, back, all, not all the way out, okay? But they go in, then back. So you make a keyhole shape. It goes out, then back. Out, then back. Out, then back. Get more knee, yeah? Out, then back. Right? Now once you've done that, have your hands behind you. And then slowly bring them around. Straight arms. Start again. Slow around and back. Bring your arms out. Okay, sit on the second step. Straight arms. Shoulders in the water. Now we're going to do the same thing. You want your hands to come out and back. Now with your hands probably facing upwards, yeah? And you're going to relax and bring them around. Push back. Relax, bring them around. And you use your shoulders, yeah? To bring them around like that. Okay, so you push back all the way back. And then round. Let's go again. Back. And then round. Let's go with the breathing. So this is what happens with the breathing, yeah? You put your face in the water, you do the arm strokes when your hands are here, then you bring your head out and down. Okay, look very closely. The reason I would ask younger swimmers to breathe towards the end of the stroke is so that they do not lift their head at the beginning, which can unfortunately result in the hips sinking. Older beginners, however, should try lifting their head during the mid-stroke to enable the return of the head during the recovery. Although we just touched on the timing of the breathing, attention should now be focused on combining the arm strokes with the kicks and without a breath. To begin, the swimmer should try to complete four to six strokes while moving the hips continuously and keeping the head down. Swimmers may forget to move their kicks effectively when introducing the arm strokes. However, through repetition, a rhythm will gradually develop. Each stroke should follow the same sequence, with reaching arms, catching the water with fingers pointing down, and then pushing the water to the hips. For the recovery, relax and shrug the shoulders as the arms return to the start. If a swimmer tenses their shoulders or has short strokes, practice the correct long stroke on the side. Eventually, our swimmer will show a good basic arm stroke with leg kick and begin to try the breathing. This is far easier if the stroke is long, consistent and not too fast as shown in this example. It is common to see swimmers with bent arms on their recovery. This is due to the hands leading over the water, similar to the front crawl. Straighter, relaxed arms starting from the shoulders should be encouraged. <laughs> 